How you doing? My name is Mike Evans, founder of Lace Facts. And today we're going to be working on DB hip drills, transitional movement, and finishing through the hands. If you have bad hips, it's hard to get in and out and transition with the receiver. So if you're opening your hips and the, deep, the receiver breaks on a route and you're locked up, you can't get in and out. Your hips are bad. If you come here and you have good hips, you can open up and transition on the route. So right now, that's what we're about to work on. We're going to work on our DBs turning our hips so when the receiver breaks on them, he understands how to get in and out of his breaks. Turn them, turn them, turn them, turn them, turn them, get them. Turn them, turn them, turn them, get them. Turn them, get them. Turn them, turn them, turn them. of opening your hips. So the first part that you just did was a warm up. Open up your hips. Right now, we're sticking the receiver, right foot up. When I say go, we go come full speed, coming down. When I say break, you go open, open your hips and come straight in. So the first one that you saw was the warm up, opening the hips, warming up your hips. Now we going into, then we went to the progression when you open the hips and driving on the ball. Now we're doing a double move. So the receiver is going straight up, planting going back, coming back on a double move. The DB is opening up, breaking on the receiver, coming back, catching the ball on the pick. Now notice this, our DB's eyes is on the hips of the receiver at all times. He does not turn around and look for the ball until the receiver turns and looks for the ball as well. Break, break, break. What you guys just saw is us do transitional movements, double moves. So now what happens if the DB is not on the hip of the receiver? We have to finish off without looking back at the receiver, at the quarterback. All right, so what we go do now is have the, the receiver running up, the DB playing behind. So this is a, a situation where the DB already missed the, the receiver and now he's in trail. So when he's in trail, he has to run through the receiver, arms at the back shoulder of the receiver, Arms at the back shoulder of the receiver, finishing off. The way you have the, on the back shoulder is because if you miss this and he catch it, you can still secure the tackle. When you come up without securing and he catches it and he goes upfield, now it's touchdown. So we want to secure with the outside, at the up, upfield shoulder, finish knocking the ball down. DB, my arms is pumping. Whoa. Come on, listen. Hands! 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 Notice how I'm putting my hand on the shoulder, finish it through the ball. The first drill that we did was hip work. It's just warming up your hips, getting them loose, so when we go into the second drill, you'll be able to move to the, high, the best ability. Uh, the second drill that we did was the transitional movement, getting on the receiver's hips and finishing through. The third drill we did was a double move, so you break and transition to the hips, turning, getting on the receiver's hip, and finishing through. The last drill we did was the what-if drill. So what if you're not on the receiver's hip? What if you're not, don't have good eyes? You have to still finish and be able to compete at a high level. So we're finishing off, getting on the top hip of the, of the top shoulder of the receivers, finishing off, knocking down the floor. Under the radar sports media, the hottest sports videos in the nation. Turn up!